What's going on, y'all? Grind and Motivate back in this thing again, man, with another video. And today we have two elite beta males for the price of one. If you don't know what's been going on lately, we had several potential mass shooters' plans be foiled because they were just talking too much, man. You meddling fools have ruined everything. I'll make you pay for this. So here we have beta male number one, and this is a article by New York Post it says Texas teen arrested for plotting mass shooting at Amazon warehouse Rodolfo Estevez 19 was arrested June 27th on a terrorist threat charge after allegedly plotting to shoot up the Amazon facility where he works in this mug shot right here he looks like Fredo Santana if y'all know who that is and the article starts police in San Antonio Texas have arrested a 19 year old Amazon warehouse employee for allegedly threatening to carry out a mass shooting at his workplace. Rodolfo Acevist was taken into custody last Monday on a charge of a terroristic threat causing fear, which is a third degree felony punishable by up to 10 years in state prison. And it says here, more on mass shootings. Every one of the Uvalde cop cowards should be fired. They've shamed their badges and their country. I agree with that. How do you guys feel about that? I think we should do a video on that one to you. Then it also says accused Racist Buffalo shooter pleads not guilty to hate crime charges. Wow, that the audacity of that guy. How? What kind of? What? Let's go to the next part. SFS was arrested after investigators received a tip and interviewed several of his coworkers at the Amazon delivery station on Salsavad Way, who reported allegedly hearing the teen threaten to shoot up the facility, according to a press release from the police. Detectives were immediately notified and acquired credible information to believe the suspect's comments were taken as a legitimate potential mass shooting threat, according to the police. Cops were able to quickly track down SFS at a different location and detain him without incident. Police also revealed they seized an AR-15 rifle from SFS location, and that seems to be the weapon of choice of all these weirdos. An arrest report cited by News 4 SA stated that Three days before SFS arrest, a fire alarm went off at the Amazon warehouse as staffers were filing out of the building, a co-worker said. The 19-year-old told her that it would be a good idea to pull the fire alarm and have all employees exit the building to commit a mass shooting. Wow, weirdo. The same co-worker said that while she was giving SFS a ride, he talked about wanting to shoot up a school and referred to the gunman who killed 19 children and two teachers in Uvalde, Texas a month earlier as his idol according to the report so yeah this guy was definitely thrown off offset unhinged whatever you want to call it he was a weirdo who looks up to a guy like that a greasy face gothic dressing beta male weirdo like ramos let's go when investigators interviewed s of his father the man said his son had struggled with mental illness in the past and was institutionalized at age 16. that's interesting the dad also claimed that Esavis had stopped taking his prescribed medication and that the family was living in fear of him after he had purchased the AR-15. Why, as the dad, are you not leading the house to the point where you're not in fear of this kid? Like, why haven't you, like, if my son did something like that, we're having Mortal Kombat for sure, bro. We're not getting ready to be out here like, oh, your son, oh, you, 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 you said you want to eat pizza for the fifth time this week? No. No, I'm going to take your little AR-15, and if I can't take it, then oh well. I mean, it, you're not going to get out. You're not going to just get out unscathed. You're not going to be living in our house anyway like that. And first off, the first mistake I think they made was where they just stopped letting him take the medication. Why did you guys get so negligent to the point where you're just like, oh, you just, just let him stop taking the medication? I guess, like, once he gets grown, it's like, I guess you can't really keep him doing that. But it's like, bro, you're in my house. You're in my house, still under my rules. You're not going to have a gun in my house. You're not going to be not taking medication. And you're a crazy guy in my house. It doesn't work like that. Then we have a quote here. It says, this is the essence of see something, say something, police said in a release announcing SFS arrest. If not for the witness who came forward, the incident could have resulted in a tragic outcome. And that is real, man. Uh, shout out to the lady who did that because she was on some duck sauce earlier. She was talking about some, yeah, I was scared that he was going to find me and do something to me or something like that. But then she came back and you know, she had a change of heart and actually told the police and the police actually went and did their job. That's, hey, man, a policeman did their job right here, man. They can't have another Uvalde. They trying to get some points. Let's go. SFS was released from jail after posting 50k bond. He is due back in court for a preliminary hearing on July 26. 
So yeah, I don't know if I really agree with him being able to be, being able to be released like that. I don't know if like maybe they set the prices too low. I think he's still pretty much a threat. They say they recovered the AR-15. He said multiple threats about this. He talked about how he, he liked the Uvalde shooter and that was his idol. I mean, what what are we letting this guy out for? Let's go on, keep him on in there, and you know, let him let him come to cold on uh, July 26, and then you know, see how we feel about it. Like I just don't, I don't think he should be out, man. I think you kind of see the same story all the time with the various school or mass shooters. They make like crazy threats. Like uh, I think the Peyton Gendron dude did something where he said he wanted to shoot up a school, and they let him off, and then you see what happened now, and then this guy right here. And then other guys have said crazy things. I think the, the Salvador Ramos dude had said some crazy stuff beforehand, what he did, and you see what happened there. So I think maybe this could be another thing. It's like, you're going to let him out. He's going to go to court. And then what? After he goes to court, he's just back out in the streets. He can still get him a gun on the low, illegally, whatever you want to call it. So I don't know if I agree with him being out in these streets, but let's go. So here we have Elite Beta Male number two, and it says police stop potential mass shooting event at Yo Gotti concert. Let's go ahead and figure out why this man decided he wanted to do a mass shooting at a Yo Gotti concert of all places. What was his motive? What kind of lifestyle did he lead? What was his parents talking about? Let's go. On July 16th at approximately 4.19 a.m., the Memphis Police Department responded to an emergency commitment call at Chiska Apartments, which is in the 200 block of Main Street. Hyman was upset due to a recent breakup with his girlfriend on July 12th. Come on, man. Folks is really still out here getting mad to this point about a girl. She's not the only one, bro. Like, if she broke up with you or or you messed up or she messed up, bro, you got to find a new one or you got to go on with your life and figure it out. Or maybe you need to go to therapy. Who knows? Like the other mass shootings he's seen on television, Hyman had thoughts of hurting others at a Yo Gotti concert court document show. What would that have solved? So you decided that since she broke up with me, yeah, n- nobody gets to be happy if I can't be happy. That's lame. Then it says, in frustration, he broke the east-facing window with his right fist. Because y'all hear him broke- breaking the window. Ha! He hit, that's how he hit that thing. Ha! Let's go. The attorney representing Elijah Hyman, Leslie Ballin, told us that Hyman and his family believe the best place for him to be right now is to remain in jail, not because he's accused of being a criminal, but because they are looking at this matter truly as a mental health issue. I think that, yeah, you're a criminal first off, but the first thing you did was you was planning on shooting some folks up. And then, yeah, you do have a mental health issue, probably, I mean, if we want to call it that, or is it just folks just using that as an excuse nowadays when it's like you just want to just hurt somebody, it's just automatically a mental health issue. I mean, it is actually a mental health technically, but, I mean, we can't just put everybody in like a... You can you have involuntary mental issues that you can't help or anything like that. This guy knew what he was doing, unless his parents know that from way back then. Like just like the other parents, yeah, he was he was going to psychiatric wards and taking taking drugs and all that so he could get right. So it's like I don't know about all that. They also say they confiscated several weapons from this guy's house. So I guess uh, once again the police did their job. They stepped in and stopped something before some BS happened. That's pretty good. I guess the police is up a little bit right here in these streets, man. They did a little bit of something right here. I think he might have got released on 50K bond, too. I don't know why 50K bond is the set price for these guys, but it just happens to be the set price for these guys. We have a quote here. My hymen reached out for help. That don't sound right. My hymen reached out for help. Think about that. He actually flagged down an officer to, for help, Ball and said he was in a crisis. We're working with prosecutor's office, with the prosecutor's office to appropriately address the issue in this case. Uh, I mean, I guess, man. I mean, I guess he, if he if he wanted to be flagged out or not, I guess he kind of had a little bit of something in him. That's good. I don't know if you want to call it. I don't know. So what do you guys think about this whole thing? Do you think that with all these different mass shooters and copycat guys that mental health is really playing a role? Or do you think that people are just grasping it whatever excuse they can to get a lesser sentence or possibly get off obviously with this Rodolfo guy mental health is playing a big role because his parents said he was actually in an institution so there's that but this guy here on the right his girlfriend broke up with him that sounds like a first world problem yeah everybody's girlfriend breaks up with him everybody gets played at some point in time but you decide 
Yeah, I want to off myself and off others. That that's that's lame, bro. You you just sound like a weak beta male. You don't sound like a person who has been dealing with mental trauma all his life, and now it's finally bubbled up to the point where it just it burst through the through the through the ceiling. I just don't see that right here, man. Um, also, you know why do you got why do you guys think that it seems to be so many guys that are going this route? to solve their issues instead of going to get, you know, maybe get therapy, unlike Andrew Tate says, or do something therapeutic. Why is it that they feel, oh yeah, we should go out here and do this? Is it because they're seeing it a lot on the news? Is it because we have a weak society? Is it really because maybe some folks got mental health issues? What is the deal? Also, I guess another thing, man, uh, do you think this makes, you know, your everyday activities a little bit more unsafe than they already are, man. You got these kind of regular, regular looking dudes, I guess, uh, as Black V Silver would say, oofy doofy kind of guys. They're just running around here regular. They're the ones causing the issues. It's like uh, you can't even go to the grocery store no more without thinking about, hey, man, that little joker right there look like he be, he be uh, mad shooting. I be telling Angie, I be sizing people up in the store all the time. I, Angie, Angie be hating on it, but I be sizing people. I be like, that dude looks weird. And she be like, man, stop saying that. You know how she is. She's all nice, but, uh, yeah, man, uh, that's just kind of it for the video, man. I want to know what you guys think about this situation right here, man. Uh, I'm glad they caught both of the people before they caused some real damage, and I hope that they don't get off, but if you watched to this point, thanks for watching. As usual, have a great day. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Don't be lame, and I'll see y'all next time.